Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedatullah with another new video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about bricks and its types. Okay. So I will discuss about bricks and its type. And also in this channel, there have many basic uh, knowledge video. I mean, uh, for civil engineers, it's very very important to know about some basic. And in this channel, focus on that. And also there are many uh, software tutorial series so you can watch that and also if you're new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also stay with us so let's start first of all we will uh, see what is brick actually brick is defined as one kinds of artificial a stone made of clay okay i mean this is a artificial a stone and uh, a stone and this made by clay uh, its main materials i mean main materials of bricks are clay after that dimension of brick so actually uh, now we'll see about the dimension of brick so from here the dimension of brick without mortar 9.5 inch 4.5 inch and 2.7 inch i mean 9.5 inch in length 4.5 inch in width and 2.75 inch is thickness okay so this is without mortar okay so suppose i mean uh without mortar means the fresh brick and with mortar means after plastering or after uh, constructing or after a uh, machinery wall so it's consider its size is 10 inch length 5 inch width and 3 inch thickness with mortar okay after that classification of brick so actually uh, we know that the brick are mainly two types sun dried bricks and burnt brick okay sun dried brick and burnt brick before it's burning after that it's again divided four types first class brick then second class brick then third class brick and finally overburnt brick so i will discuss about every types of brick and its uses uh, okay here and so here first class brick you are uh, seeing the picture here actually so the picture of first class brick just see that this is a uh, very smooth and its color are uniform uh, also and its shape are very good so this is the look of first class brick so i'll just uh, discuss about its characteristics or and its uses so first of all a first class brick is well burned and regular in shape just see here now uh, the brick are burned perfectly and also its shape is regular after that its are shape and well defined just see here if you see the its of the brick it is very sharp okay it's very sharp and it's very defined shape okay so after that its surface is smooth um sorry uh, actually its surface is smooth clean and free from cracks so if you see here there have no crack actually and also its surface is enough is smooth and also its the brick is very clean after that it has a specific gravity of 1.5 okay it's a specific gravity is 1 point sorry 1.8 not 5 sorry i'm extremely sorry it's 1.8 it's a specific gravity 1.8 after that uses of first class brick i mean where and which condition we use first class brick first of all for machinery wall actually wall is uh, everyone preferred that he, they will use uh some kinds of good brick and first class brick is everyone's first choice after that flooring and walling purpose okay flooring and wall purpose after that shape brick are used in carving arches and copying so uh, it's clear after that use for a uh, reinforced concrete structure okay 
also the first class brick is used for reinforced concrete structure after that uh, we'll discuss about second class brick so if you see here this is a uh, approximate picture of second class brick so if I show you well burned but irregular shape and size its burn will be very well but uh, it will be in irregular shape and size sometimes sometimes after that it has a rough surface just see here it's a, it it has a rough surface right if you see the picture here so they have a rough sur surface actually so if I zoom that just see here it have a, it has a rough sur surface after that then it does not have a uniform color so if you see if you see here actually if you see here just see here it's not actually in uniform color okay it's not in uniform color after that it has fire compact and uniform texture it has fire compact and uniform texture after that uses of second class brick I mean where these types of brick are used used for unimportant situation important a structure and internal wall okay after that I'll discuss about third class brick and uh, here actually picture is not very clear but uh, here it has a light yellowish color just see here its color is almost light yellowish after that it is not well burned this types of brick are not well burned after that it is soft this types of brick is very soft and when you will touch it you will uh, feel feel that this types of brick is very soft and uh, also its surface is not smooth and also this uh, when you will see that brick you will see that its color is yellowish and also its, its burning is not perfect after that its eats are irregular and quite rough so if you touch that you will, you will see here its it is very rough and also its irregular okay after that use of third class brick okay so I mean where and which condition is third class brick use inferior temporary building okay these types of bricks are used for temporary building I mean uh, where uh, it will be not uh, necessary to use for long time uh, or for heavy structure for important structure we cannot use that types of brick this is uh, these types of brick are only used for general purpose or for general condition after that overburnt brick so here is the overburnt brick and also if I uh, discuss here this types of brick is very very important for some case uh, and also these types of brick found when uh, here heat or more absorbed by that bricks are also this is overburnt and if we see here they are overburnt okay these types of brick characteristics are uh, it will be overburnt and they are irregular in shape and variable in the form of looms okay so it will found some looms on that bricks and it will be very irregular or variable okay so after that uses of overburn brick use as aggregate for making concrete use in rotor so this type this types of uh, aggregate are mainly used for aggregate or uh, making concrete used in rotor suppose uh, we need to make some I mean uh, RCC road I mean uh, the rigid road there we can use that types of overman brick and it will be very suitable for that place so thank you for watching and thank you for staying with us and if you new to our channel and first time you are watching our video then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon uh, and also like our video share our video and don't forget to leave a comment because your opinion is very very important for us so stay with us 
and support your channel school of civil engineering if you are a civil engineer so thank you thank you very much as well stay connected till next video again i'll come with another new video